what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of the square root of 30 times 31 times 32 times 33 plus 1. well our first step will be for us to simplify so we have the square root of 30 times 31 is same as 30 plus 1 times 32 is same as 30 plus 2 times 33 is same as 30 plus 3 and then plus 1. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to introduce substitution by saying that let x be equal to 30. So that means wherever I see 30, I'm going to be putting x. So this becomes the square root of 30. So I'm going to be putting x times, this will be x plus 1 times, this will be x plus 2 times this will be x plus 3 and then plus 1. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to rearrange. So we have the square root of, this is x. I'm going to be rearranging it with x plus 3, so times x plus 3 times then x plus 1 x plus 1 times x plus 2 x plus 2 and then plus 1 very good now our next step will be for us to expand so this will be the square root of x times x is x squared plus x times 3 is 3x and then times now let's expand this so this is x times x is x squared plus x times 2 is 2x plus 1 times x is x and then plus 1 times 2 is 2 very good and then plus 1. Now let's simplify what we have inside of this bracket. So this will be the square root of we have x squared plus 3x times this is x squared plus 2x plus x is 3x and then plus 2. And outside of the bracket, we have plus 1. Very good. Now, notice something that inside of this bracket, I have x squared plus 3x. And inside of this other bracket, I also have a similar thing, x squared plus 3x. So I can just say, let x squared plus 3x be equal to m. So I'm going to be putting m here. So this will be the square root of m times, this is m plus 2, so m plus 2, and then plus 1. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to open up the bracket. So we have the square root of m times m is m squared plus m times 2 is 2m and then plus 1. Very good. Now you notice that we have a quadratic expression here. Now let's expand this quadratic expression. So this is the square root of. Now we're going to be looking for the factors. So I'll open up two brackets that I'm multiplying. And since I have m squared, so I'll be putting m times m, 
which will result to m squared. And now looking at what I have here, I have plus here. So I put plus. And here I also have plus. So I'm going to be putting plus as well. Very good. Now I'll look for two factors of one that multiplies to give a sum of two. And the only factor of one is one. So that means one times one will give one. And when I add this two, I'm going to have the middle term, which is two. So now notice that this is m plus one times m plus one. And expression like this is same as m plus one all squared. Very good. And we know that square root can cancel up square, leaving behind m plus 1. Very good. Now recall from our substitution, recall that we said let x squared plus 3x be equal to m, if you can remember. So that means wherever I see m, I'm going to be putting x squared plus 3x. So I have m here. So I'll be putting x squared plus 3x in place of m and then plus 1. Very good. Now also recall that we said x is what? Equal to 30 from our first substitution. So that means wherever I see x, I'm going to be putting 30. So this will be 30 squared plus this is 3 times 30 and then plus 1. Very good. And then simplifying further, 30 squared is 900 plus 3 times 30 is 90 plus 1. And then adding this together, 900 plus 90 plus 1 is 991. This is the final solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.